While some animals are so dangerous that they don't require hiding their presence, others rely on deception and camouflage to prevent themselves from meeting a fateful end at the hands of one of their predators. Color matching is one of the most basic ways animals camouflage themselves. They're able to blend in simply by matching the color of their surroundings. See if you can spot any of these 20 incredible camouflaged animals hiding out in their natural habitats. Before we begin, click that like button to inspire us. Moreover, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by this type of ultimate fact. The Barren Caterpillar It's native to India and Southeast Asia. They're about 4 millimeters long with small spikes when they hatch. But as they reach their fourth and fifth stage of growth, also known as instars, they can grow to about 45 millimeters with much more elongated spikes. These spikes, along with the caterpillar's color, allow it to blend in with leaves to avoid predators until it's ready to mature. Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko The gecko, another amazing camouflaged animal, occurs in a variety of colors but it's often mottled brown, with small black dots on the underside that help to distinguish it from similar species. Habitat destruction, deforestation, and collection for the pet trade all threaten the existence of this animal. Studies suggest that leaf-tailed geckos can only inhabit a very specific environment and are not tolerant of any degradation of its natural habitat. This makes the satanic leaf-tailed gecko very vulnerable to the impacts of habitat degradation and harvesting, a common problem due to it being a very popular pet. Octopuses They can create distracting patterns with waves of dark coloration across the body, a display known as the passing cloud. Muscles in the skin change the texture of the mantle to achieve greater camouflage. In some species, the mantle can take on the spiky appearance of algae. In others, skin anatomy is limited to relatively uniform shades of one color with limited skin texture. A moving rock trick involves the octopus mimicking a rock and then inching across the open space with a speed matching the movement in the surrounding water, allowing it to move in plain sight of a predator. Merlet Scorpionfish Rhinopius afanis, one of the best camouflage animals, having a variety of other names, many of which include the word lacy. This is because they have a considerable amount of tentacles and skin flaps, as well as an unusual shape overall, which gives them their so-called lacy look. They use all these factors to look like plant life, blending in with coral reefs. They'll stay for hours until they get an opportunity to jump out and inhale their prey with their venomous mouths. Pygmy Seahorse at a whopping 27 millimeters, this animal with camouflage is the goliath of the recently mentioned Hippocampus Denise. Its minuscule size and elaborate camouflage help explain why the first was only discovered in 1969 and that only six more have been found since all after 2000. They can be found 10 to 40 meters deep, mainly off the coast of Australia, Indonesia, Japan, New Caledonia, and Indonesia. The Crab Spider the crab spider doesn't build webs to trap prey. Though all of them do produce silk for drop lines and sundry reproductive purposes, some are wandering hunters and the most widely known are ambush predators. Some species sit on or beside flowers or fruit where they grab visiting insects. Individuals of some species are able to change color over a period of some days to match the flower on which they're sitting. The crab spider is one of the most poisonous camouflaged animals in the animal kingdom. Some species frequent promising positions among leaves or bark, where they await prey and some of them sit in the open. The Leafy Sea Dragon Phycodurus equis are native to the ocean south of Australia. Measuring up to 35 centimeters, they have long slender bodies, decorated with elaborate leaf-like appendages to help them blend in with the plant life of the water. They're closely related to seahorses and shouldn't be confused with their much less spectacular cousin, the aptly named Weedy Sea Dragon. Underwing Moth There are over 200 species of underwing moths, mostly found in eastern North America. They're so-called because the second set of wings are bright patterns of orange, yellow, red, and white, while the first set of wings are usually a mix of gray and brown patterns. Experiments have shown that the moths actually choose trees with bark similar to their own color to better protect themselves. Reef Stonefish Sanatsia varicosa, 
are found in the rocky coral of Australian coasts and can measure up to 50 centimeters. Needless to say, being from Australia, the fish is one of the most venomous in the world. It can inject venom through any of its 13 spouts. Although nobody has died as a result of their venom since Europeans arrived in Australia, their sting is still extremely painful and dangerous. This makes their camouflage a lot more terrifying. And if you think you can stay safe by keeping out of the water, think again. These fish can survive up to 24 hours on land. The Owl Owls tend to mimic the coloration and sometimes the texture patterns of their surroundings, the barn owl being an exception. The snowy owl appears nearly bleach white in color with a few flecks of black mimicking their snowy surroundings perfectly. While the speckled brown plumage of the towny owl allows it to lie in wait among the deciduous woodland it prefers for its habitat. Likewise, the mottled wood owl displays shades of brown, tan, and black, making the owl nearly invisible in the surrounding trees, especially from behind. Usually, the only telltale sign of a perched owl is its vocalizations or its vividly colored eyes. Arctic Fox They live in some of the most frigid extremes on the planet, but they don't start to shiver until the temperature drops below minus 70 Celsius. Among its adaptations for survival in the cold is its dense, multi-layered pelag, which provides excellent insulation. The Arctic Fox is the only canid whose foot pads are covered in fur. The white morph has seasonal camouflage, white in winter and brown along the black with light gray around the abdomen in summer. 99% of the Arctic fox population is the white morph. Katydids This incredible camouflaged animal is primarily nocturnal in habit with strident mating calls. Many katydids exhibit mimicry and camouflage commonly with shapes and colors similar to leaves. When they go to rest during the day, they enter a diurnal roosting posture to maximize their cryptic qualities. This position fools predators into thinking that the katydid is either dead or just a leaf on the plant. By flicking their wings open when disturbed, they use the coloration to fool predators into thinking the spots are eyes. This, in combination with their coloration mimicking leaves, allows them to blend in with their surroundings. Phasmatodia their natural camouflage makes them difficult for predators to detect. Still, many species have one of several secondary lines of defense in the form of startle displays, spines, or toxic secretions. The world's longest insect body is often further modified to resemble vegetation, with ridges resembling leaf veins, bark-like tubercles, and other forms of camouflage. The defense mechanism most readily identifiable with phasmatodia is camouflage in the form of a plant mimicry. Most phasmids are known for effectively replicating the form of sticks and leaves. Remaining absolutely stationary enhances their inconspicuousness. Some species have the ability to change color as their surroundings shift. The Frog Camouflage is a common defense mechanism in frogs. Most camouflage frogs are nocturnal. During the day, they seek out a position where they can blend into the background and remain undetected. Some frogs have the ability to change color, but this is usually restricted to a small range of colors. For example, white tree frogs vary between pale green and dull brown according to the temperature, and the Pacific tree frog has green and brown morphs, plain or spotted, and changes color depending on the time of year and general background color. Features such as warts and skin folds are usually on ground-dwelling frogs, for whom smooth skin would not provide such effective camouflage. Certain frogs change color between night and day as light and moisture stimulate the pigment cells and cause them to expand or contract. Some are even able to control their skin texture. The Grasshopper Grasshoppers exemplify a range of anti-predator adaptations, enabling them to avoid detection, to escape if detected, and in some cases to avoid being eaten if captured. Grasshoppers are often camouflaged to avoid detection by predators that hunt by sight. Some species can change their coloration to suit their surroundings. The Wolf Spider Resembling nursery web spiders, but wolf spiders carry their egg sacs by attaching them to their spinnerets. Two of the wolf spider's eight eyes are large and prominent, which distinguishes them from the nursery web spiders whose eyes are all of roughly equal size. They depend on camouflage for protection. 
They do not have the flashy appearance of some other kinds of spiders, and in general, their coloration is appropriate to their favorite habitat. Dead Leaf Butterfly Probably one of the most perfect examples of incredible camouflaged animals in the animal kingdom. Kalama Inakis, the dead leaf butterfly, is found mainly in tropical Asia, especially India and Japan. As if the camouflage wasn't elaborate enough as it is, the dead leaf butterfly has two generations per year. Their wings can even have patterns to make it look like the leaf is at different stages of decomposition, including actually having holes. The walking leaf insect is another example of an insect that looks extremely like a leaf. The Tawny Frogmouth This amazing camouflage animal is a type of owl native to Australia. Although they are, unsurprisingly, nocturnal, they have developed a sophisticated method of daytime camouflage. They sit still, close their eyes, stretch their neck, and compact their feathers, making them look like a broken tree branch. This is used as a defense mechanism, not for hunting, like some of the other entries. They mainly eat insects, and since they're nocturnal, insects are most visible in lit up areas. Unfortunately, the most lit up area is often directly in front of a moving car, where many of these birds will probably wish they were easier for us to spot. Chameleon A distinctive and highly specialized clade of Old World lizards, with 202 species described as of June 2015. Chameleons, these amazing animals, are adapted for climbing and visual hunting. They live in warm habitats that range from the rainforest to desert conditions, with various species occurring in Africa, Madagascar, Southern Europe, and across Southern Asia as far as Sri Lanka. Different chameleon species are able to vary their coloration and pattern through combinations of pink, blue, red, orange, green, black, brown, light blue, yellow, turquoise, and purple. The Cuttlefish they're indeterminate growers, so smaller cuttlefish always have a chance of finding a mate the next year when they're bigger. Additionally, cuttlefish, the master of camouflage, unable to win in a direct confrontation with a guard male, may have been observed employing several other tactics to acquire a mate. The most successful of these methods is camouflage. Smaller cuttlefish use their camouflage abilities to distinguish themselves as a female cuttlefish. Changing their body color and even pretending to be holding an egg sac, disguised males are able to swim past the larger guard male and mate with the female. Have you ever seen any of these in real life? Let us know in the comments section. That is all for now. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.